Dakota was it wasn't that crazy. It was it was it was weird, but not that crazy. So a swarm of bees showed up uh, on a picnic table, uh, and because it wasn't a flat surface, you couldn't just scoop them in mass. You had to almost hand uh, uh, ferry them into a container. And so we had these firemen all around us with their hoses all acting tough. And I showed up and I, you know, uh, I don't even think we had a smoker at first, did we? No, we didn't have a smoker. So I showed up and they were going to kill these bees. And I said, no, don't kill the bees. I'll take care of it. And then the bees, see, bees understand uh, weird sentiment in the world, you know, like uh, anger and aggression. Uh, so they could feel the uh, firemen trying to spray them with their hose. And so they were really uh, irritated. Well, these bees are pretty bad. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to smoke them again. They, they just stung me about six times in the shoulder and about twice in the ankle. First of all, they, they communicate by pheromones. So the smoke blocks those pheromones so they can't talk to each other. Um, and it makes them really hungry. It kind of gives them the munchies. We are checking the hives and seeing how big they've gotten, making sure they have a clean, putting honey supers on them. Right here, we're looking inside, like deep in the cells to see if we have eggs that are like between one and three days old. As per Texas Agricultural Code, we have to burn uh, dead beehives that have EFB, AFB, or wax moths in them. Now we have neither EFB nor AFB, but we do have some wax moths, and today we're, uh, we're taking care of that problem. They'll breed and they'll multiply and they'll go on to infect other beehives and kill more bees, and I mean that's kind of opposite of what we want. My name is Cameron. Uh, I'm the operations manager for Central Texas Bee Rescue. Working for Central Texas Bee Rescue has been a really awesome experience. I've learned a lot about not only bees and how important they are to our survival as a species and getting the food that we want. There's uh, refugees that are housed across the street from the linear community garden. We have three hives there. They put on bee suits, they help us smoke the hives. A lot of them have, I mean, we have a couple of doctors in the mix, Arabic doctors. Um, they all have degrees, they've just come from other countries and can't use those degrees here. So they, they're not only having uh, gardens inside the community garden, but they help us with the bees as well. We are at John Paul de Jorian's house. Uh, we have about uh, 100 beehives here. We also have beehives at uh, Jesse James' house, uh, about 50 hives. Okay. The bee population is dying. We've known this since the 1930s. And so basically what we want to do is we want to promote bees into our area and repollinate Texas. How are we doing? <laughs> Not feeling too great right now. Got stung right on the nose. I don't know if you can see that a little mark on there. I thought I was going to pass out while I was up top getting rid of the honeycomb. So is life when you're working and trying to save bees. See, like in Austin, Texas, I believe is the only city in all of America that even has an ordinance against killing uh, feral honeybees. Uh, and so, and we wrote that ordinance with the city of Austin. So we have to grow and write new ordinances and, and legislation, which we're just uh, started with uh, Elliot, uh, uh, Senator Nestat. Because once the bee is gone, the honeybee, uh, at least 50% of our food disappears. And there's just way too many people uh, on this planet to feed uh, for half the amount of food. I teach people, um, inmates actually, beekeeping here at Travis County Correctional Complex. Um, uh, we've worked with men and now we're working with the female population. And what our aim is to um, give these people a second chance. I see an, uh, an opportunity to make a difference in the world. And in a nutshell, that's it. Central Texas Bee Rescue opened my eyes to a whole bigger outlook on life. I was given an interview and all of a sudden a bee stunk me in the lip. I had to suck him up, chew him up, and spit him out. Actually, it has like a gassy taste to it. It's super hard work. It's tedious. Uh, at times, the bees were trying to kill you. Uh, and uh, if you're not doing it for a labor of love, you shouldn't be doing it at all.